That's good. No leaving Hackathon's Cliff. Heading back to Malvern. I'm looking in a southeasterly direction towards Martins Bay and Bath Beach on the east coast in the parish of St. John. I'm looking towards Bathsheba, which is in St. Joseph. I'm looking in a northerly direction in the parish of St. Andrew and St. Joseph, all a part of the Scotland district. So we're looking at the entire east coast and the entire Scotland countryside here in Barbados. I look back at Hackathon's Cliff. Where it would have just started from. Hackathon's Cliff is at Malvern in St. John. Hackathon's Cliff. Uh, this is the what about water tank here? So again, Hackathon's Cliff borders St. John and St. Joseph. St. John to the south and St. Joseph to the east, to the west, I mean to the north, sorry. Hackathon's Cliff extends to St. John Parish Church, which is to the south, which gives awesome views of the East Coast, the entire East Coast, and it extends over to St. Joseph Parish Church to the north, which is at Horace Hill in St. Joseph, which gives awesome views. Well, it doesn't give any view, but you can see Bathsheba in the background when you go over to St. Joseph Parish Church, where well, St. Joseph Parish Church is closed now due to land slippage and the building crumbling and the structure unsafe. They are closed now, St. Joseph Parish Church. You can see the cats here. And some goats here. Go up at the Hackathon's Cliff in St. John. And then back to Malvern in St. John. The former Malvern Great House. farmland over here So this road leads about to Malvern and St. John. And like what I said before, majority of the white Barbadian population originated in the parish of St. John. <clears throat> they can best be referred as the Red Legs, the Quebecis, or some of them referred as the Four Whites. Such as Cole Williams, 
a rough businessman. He has, he passed away now, but he was originally from St. John. He had lots of land and property and businesses here in Barbados. Carl Williams and his brother Ralph Busy Williams. Yeah, yeah, all right. Carl Williams and his brother Ralph Busy Williams have property here in Barbados. And um, businesses, his brother is Ralph Busy Williams. And also, um, Professor Henry Fraser, another white Barbadian from St. John, and also Sir Kiffin Simpson, the guy who owns Simpson Motors up in Warrens, which is the agent for Suzuki Vehicles here in Barbados. He's also from St. John, and also um, um, the Goddards, the only Goddard group of companies. All those white population from St. John. St. John Parish is filled with a lot of white people. Some of them moved to the parish and live other places. Some of them migrated to other countries and some of them still live in the parish. You can find a lot of white people at like Martin Spain in St. John, which is nearby as well. All a part of the Scotland district of Barbados. Looking back at the road where it just came from. So, this is the beautiful, serene parish of St. John, well, be bordering St. John and St. Joseph, and on the border of the two parishes. Heading back to the Center for Complementary Medicine. Another track here. Cat Road. But tracks mostly. The Center for Complementary Medicine is at the former Malvern Great House, which was which is run by Dr. John Cheeseman. You can see the back of it here. This is the wall for the former Malvern Great House, which you know refer to as the Center for Complementary Medicine. Uh, this is Malvern St. John. No.
but the road straight ahead will lead you back to Venture where you clear berry, sweet bottom, sweet veil area and Mount Table in St. John. This will be taking you back to St. Joseph with Easy Hall via Horace Hill and Blackman's by the Grandy Adams Memorial Secondary School and the road right to the left here will take you back to Martins Bay, Church View, Newcastle, Clifton Hall and St. John Parish Church all in St. John. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.